And in Georgia, a bill by Governor Brian Kemp will aim at reducing state taxes. The state budget, along with matters of criminal justice, will be prime topics in Georgia sessions. Representative Mike Cameron previewed some of the matters that will be discussed in their government, along with a look at a drug crisis in the state. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp recently proposed a tax reduction for the state. Representative Mike Cameron claims this will be one of the main topics of interest in legislation as lawmakers return this week. We're trying to get more money back to the people and not keep it, spend it like legislators tend to do. The new income tax reduction was said to bring an impact of close to a billion dollars. Two years ago, we passed a tax bill that was going to gradually bring the income tax rate down in Georgia to eventually 4.99%. With the amount of uh, surplus we have in Georgia, he wanted to accelerate it. It's going, it was going to be 5.49, it's going to be 5.39 now. So we'll have to ratify that. And that doesn't sound like a lot of money, but that's about a billion dollars. Along with the state's budget and tax rates, the representative said drugs are a key concern in this year's legislation. Fentanyl has been the cause of many deaths in Georgia. This is not a Republican problem, it's not a Democratic problem. This is a human problem and we've got to, we've got to solve it. A new bill proposed by the representative is said to harshen the penalty of fentanyl perpetrators. You distribute fentanyl, someone dies, it's going to toughen the penalty, it's going to be like murder. And I'm going to have a fentanyl bill which will require uh, prov medical providers in emergency rooms if they think someone is overdosed to test for fentanyl. Drugs infused with marijuana like CBD and THC are also topics of interest for the state. The things that are sold in convenience stores in Georgia, those we're finding that the THC level in a lot of those products like Rice Krispie treats and some of those things are not 3%, they may be 50%. So it's a lot higher level THC, which is dangerous. With these substances in mind, Cameron also discussed the state mental health systems in accordance with criminal justice. Our jails in North Georgia have become mental health facilities because we don't have places. And so uh, our jailers and uh, deputies are having become mental health professionals, and it's, it's taxing on them as well as on uh, the patients. And we've got people in jail that really need to be in a mental health facility, but there's nowhere to take them. Many topics will be on the minds of lawmakers as Georgia legislation resumes this week.